All right, so welcome to the building tutorial for New Frontier. We, I'm going to be explaining all of the um, features and whatnot that you will need to know to build in this game. Uh, the first thing that, well, when you first start off, you are given what is called a small deed. And what this deed does is it places a land claim on the, the land anywhere that you choose to where people are not able to build or I don't think they can destroy things on the land claim block but all land claim blocks are timed and when you first place your land claim block I believe it has three days on it and it starts ticking down and so we'll go into our land claim here and so a little bit about this the uh, blueprints feature right here has not been unlocked it's that's an option that has not been added yet uh, destroy building you can just Wipe it all clean. Say, I don't want this anymore. Let's get rid of it. Um, to upgrade your building, I believe, like if you were wanted to upgrade your small deed to a large land deed, you would do that there. But if you look over here, so it says upkeep your building. So what this does is you pay two crafting rock, two crafting metal, and five crafting wood and what that does is it adds one more day onto the timer so it's very important to make sure that you keep checking your timer your expire you know when it expires like mine says six days and 19 hours if that hits zero everything you've done disappears and so you want to make sure that you keep dumping you know it's it's not a lot of resources it, it doesn't take a whole lot to make this stuff although i haven't found the metal yet i'm working on it haven't found it so you just click that once and it will add another day to it so when you see the 2 of 55 2 of 17 5 of 19 the number on the left is what it requires the number on the right is how many you have just so you know and then when you get up here your building limit originally starts I believe at 60 but as you gain levels you get these little bucks and you can spend these bucks on adding slots to your building area which is nice now this down here this is gold bars now the only way to get gold bars in this game is to either one steal them they have events that you go around and you lockpick stuff and steal them like out of safes or do like bank heists or stuff like that or find them. But when you do this stuff, it it's kind of like GTA in the sense it gives you a wanted level in which you get the higher level wanted. I believe it like reveals your location on the map or it does something that penalizes you and allows other players to know where you're I believe where you're at haven't tested it only gotten to two stars nothing happened so all right so now the next thing is you want to place your foundation now with your foundation you're starting off small a very small land deed you don't want to overdo it uh, so get creative with the shape you know don't just do a box like everybody else I mean have a little bit of fun with it you know get in there dig in um, so like this foundation if we come in here like this is part of the the deck so I don't count that so this foundation is what three by three with these two blocks added on the side here so it's technically a three by three and then I made a little bit of a different shape out of it so to place your foundation when you're standing in your land claim block area you hit the P button now what that does is it brings up your one two three four and five options in the lower right hand corner now if you see that boom that is the foundation block it can raise it can lower I mean so if we come back here it's auto sense so let's say I wanted to place a foundation next to this foundation right here you just back away 
and aim it where you want it to go. And it will match the other foundation. All right, so number two is your floors. So it's very important that like when you place a foundation like this, if you want to build a crafting station, let's say I want to put, put a crafting station on this back area, you want to put a floor on top of it because it will not allow you to build crafting stations on foundation. It has to be on a floor. Um, also, when you go to upgrade these later on, well, I'll mention that later. We'll come back to that. All right. So number three is your walls. All walls start off in wood. No choice about it. Just raw wood. You place your walls. That's what it is. And it's real simple. You know, it says down below, be an end to rotate. Or you can change, actually change the material. But um, I always just place the wooden ones, find the shape I want, then upgrade it to whatever I want it to be. Uh, and then four is your stairs. Self-explanatory, right? There's, there's just the standard stairs. And number five are your, it's your roofing. Don't use your roofing as your flooring. So, like, for example, if, let's say this was one story, right? And this was my roof right here. If I'm going to make a second story, you want to remove all of this and make it flooring instead of roofing. Or it causes issues when you want to go decorate it. It won't let you decorate it. All right, and you'll see why when we get, when we get to that. Okay, so now... Let's dive into the creative menu. So here's your menu. Now over on the left, so up on the top is your different categories across the top. Right now we're in the crafting station category, the far, le far left. Boop, boop, right there. Uh, and then over on the left, I keep forgetting it's opposite. Left side is your different crafting station so like as you can see right here it also displays information oh i was right over there in that corner so this is a cooking rack it requires one crafting tool one crafting wood and three crafting metal and as you can see i already have one placed there's already one right there and then you've got your different uh so there's a small wooden truck and here's a medium wooden truck but you need a blueprint to unlock to be able, unlock it to be able to build it but so generic crafting bench you've got your gunsmith workbench you've got your distillery alchemist desk metal furnace which requires you need it for the different metal stuff um you've got your weaving loom for your clothing and whatnot and then you've got your woodworking bench. And then down here is your generic garden. And so when you place this, you can plant seeds in it. So that's a good way to have your, obviously, grow your own food. Now, each one of these menu things has a whole bunch of different options under it. We'll just go through it real quick. Use your Q and E to change the category. So we're under doors and windows, bam, lamps or candles. So that would be your lighting. You've got your different types of beds, chairs, tables, cabinets, you know, for your kitchen or whatnot. Uh, floor decoration, rugs. Um, there's a clock in there that you buy with um, in-game money. Not money that you purchase. Like it says over on the side there, $175 for this wall clock. And I could place it right here if I really wanted a wall clock right there. <coughs> Then you've got your cookware that you can put, you know, on your table or whatever, campfire or whatever you want to do. Um, you've got your bed, your cash register. You know, there's a, there's an RP aspect to, to this game. Uh, you know, you've got your different shipping containers. Um, pillars, as you saw out here. I have pillars um, out here, which is supposed to be holding this up. But as you can see, there was a gap there because I haven't done the flooring yet. Ooh, and it's starting to get dark outside. And then you've got your defense stuff, which nothing's under there yet because it's early access. So that's that menu. So we'll get out of that and we'll go back to the normal menu. So actually, let's back out and we'll just open this crafting bench to show you. That brings up your different recipes that you can filter by. 
Um, obviously, all the food stuff you're going to cook in your campfire, medicines in your alchemist desk, um, ammo. Uh, don't know, haven't made it yet. Don't have it unlocked. Explosives. And then, <coughs> man, I need to drink a water real quick. Excuse me. And as you can see, I unlocked one of the recipes for the CT Black Widow. You can upgrade your guns and whatnot. Then there's your farming stuff. Fish trap. You need the bag of fertilizer for to create your garden. You've got your materials. Like I've got all the metal, the wood, and the rock you know, unlocked. But there's other fabrics and gold ingots and crude fuel and all that stuff. Then you got your survival stuff. You know, your locks, your axes that you can make, you know, all that stuff. And then fortifications, your fake brush, um, if you want to cover, conceal a position with real looking brush patch, you've got your wooden spikes, just like kind of in seven days to die, you know, um, sandbag barricade, you know, for stopping bullets. And then you've got your uh, flammable hay strip. And then there's also other stuff in here. Um, you've got like your pop-up trap pits where if somebody steps on it the spikes shoot up and, and hit them but uh you have to you have to set it up each time okay so that's pretty much just what a what the crafting menu looks like um under each crafting bench it has all the recipes for everything so if you go to the wrong crafting bench it's going to show the recipe but it won't let, let you make it and it will say requires this workbench all right. Ooh, air balloon with very valuable supplies. I've gotten the last two air balloons. I will let somebody else get that one. It is quite a ways away. <coughs> All right, so we've got our flooring down. We've got our walls up. Um, we've got our stairs up. And so let's say... For example, um, you want to, let's say we want to put a door right in this one right here, or a window. What you need to do is first you need to hit P to have your crafting menu up. You walk up to the thing, at, uh, the panel, so that it's highlighted yellow like this. And um, you literally, on your middle mouse scroll wheel, scroll down or scroll up. And it shows in the lower corner there, middle mouse wheel. And it gives you your door and your window um, for your base, you know, just the base wood. If you aren't able to do this, that's because you haven't reached the level that allows you to do it yet. So hang in there, level up. It's not a glitch. You're all right. Just level up. Um, so I want this solid. All right, so we have all of our walls up, and they're ugly. Really ugly. You can see through them. So what you would then do is you would walk over to it. So I'm going to change this wall. I'm going to upgrade it to a material, so I could either upgrade it to crafting wood, rock, or metal and so uh, now in the lower whoop, 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 lower corner down there you'll see one two and three that's wood rock metal so I'm gonna hit the one here and this just gives me like a generic wood cabin look now you're gonna hit you're gonna hit your five button as you see down in the corner there to change to the different um, looking schemes that you can change your wall to so, you know, you've got that. You know, there's there's a whole bunch of different ones. Well, there's three, four for this kind of wall. So, I'm going with this. So, then all you have to do is hit your left mouse button to accept. Bam. There it is. It's changed. It's upgraded with uh, crafting wood, and it is changed. So, when we go outside, it upgrades not only the inside but the outside look as well so 
that is how you do that. Now, to place windows in here, you would just go, let's say, we would just go into, we, we're in our crafting menu now. You hit P. You go to the doors and windows category over here, right? And as you can see, we'll go place a, a window downstairs because this one doesn't have one yet. So as you can see, it's blue. So that means I can place it. I've got all of the stuff that it says in the corner there. I'm going to use um, B and N to rotate it. Come on. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Why is it over there? There we go. Oh, you just got to hit it a bunch. It spins it around. Okay. So there's that side. Which which side has the the longer side? Come on. Longer side on it. B. That side. Okay. So now all we're going to do is press our first mouse button to accept. Bam. Our wall, our window is in there. We are golden. So we have our windows in there. Now there's different types of windows. There's different types of doors. There's different types of security levels. Not going to get into it. You're going to just have to play around with it and decide what you want. The higher level you go, the more stuff you put into it the more it costs. All right, so um, as you can see, I'm working on my uh, roof. I decided to go with the uh, the glass one. So if you don't like your standard flat nasty roof, you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to hit your one button to upgrade it. Oh, actually, you're just going to scroll. Right? Yeah. Well, I'm hitting the wrong button. No, you hit your one button. And then you scroll for the window that you want. And so there's the wood peak. There's a leaning roof that's just like shingles. And there's the one that I want. And so I'm just going to rotate it. Hit my fire button to accept. Bam. Done. My roof is completely done. Right? Now, you know, nobody wants gaps in between and so you're going to have to place your generic walls like this one right here just to cover that gap and then which when you're in the crafting menu oh you know what i need to go make some more crafted wood so i need to make three more crafted wood so we'll open this up crafting wood do three more so here's one Two. Three. All right. So we've got the crafting wood we need. So we're going to go up here and we're going to go into our creative menu. You're going to get the uh, section of wall that you want to change highlighted. You're going to hit your one button to select that you're going to upgrade it with wood. And it's going to give you just the generic, um, the generic look. Uh, I don't. Well, you can change it, you know, to the different uh, ones you want to use. When it's square, we'll try again with, and then you just scroll down with your mouse wheel, and bam, it gives you your little triangle that you need to fill that gap in, and. When you do that little triangle, it's not going to allow you to change the type of wood that is placed there. So there's that. So our roof, well, it's almost done. I left this one down so that I could get up here. So this is what it looks like when you're all done. You know, obviously I've got to put one, move this one so that one's up there too, but... We are on top of our roof. And so, yeah, to make that part of the roof and that other one part of the roof, I need to make some more crafting wood. But we're not going to do that now. So, um, and then there's other options um, with different building blocks, like example for the stairs. You just go into your crafting menu. You hit one for wood. And then you use your scroll to change if you want it to be that type of stairs or if you want it to be that type of stairs. Or you hit two for stone 
and you've got your options there, or three for metal. So, um, and then you do the same thing with the flooring. You come down here, you hit one for wood, or like I'm doing that stone pattern right here, as you can see. So I would hit two for the stone, and then I would just hit five until the pattern that I get, the pattern shows up that I want, which is that one. And I would just place that. I don't have enough wood to do it, or enough stone to do it, but that's easily what you do. Um, I told you I'd come back to it. Okay. So when you have foundations, you, you, remember how I told you you got to put your floor on top of your foundation if you want to build anything on it? Do not upgrade your foundation first. Big glitch. It will not allow you to upgrade your flooring at all. So you want to upgrade your flooring first inside your house, then go out and upgrade your foundation. And your foundation... You just do it the same way as everything else. We'll come over to this side here. Highlight it. One for wood, you know. Or two for stone, three for metal. Obviously, metal's ugly. Stone looks pretty cool. Wood is all right. So that's exactly how you do that. Um, is there anything else? I don't think so. Pretty much explained everything. Um, so this is flooring as well. So I would, when I go to change my flooring, I'm just going to do the same thing. You know, change it to the pattern that I want. Um, and then drop it down. Okay, so that is pretty much everything that you need to know to build. Um, to make your own patterns. To make your own themes. To make anything... Obviously, I'm not done, but just to do whatever you want to do with your house. Easy as that. So, if you like this video, make sure you give it a... And hit that follow button. Um, I would greatly appreciate it.